Dante, I know we, we kind of made a big deal of the switch to nickel and everything, but do you feel like you've kind of hit your stride? I know you said when you hit your stride, you'll talk your talk. <laughs> do you feel like you hit your stride? Uh, I feel like my confidence from this past game is, is pretty good. Um, you know, I kind of was talking today and just kind of just build from there. Uh, but I'm confident going into this week as well. You know, you guys have a rookie quarterback, undrafted rookie quarterback that you're going against this week. What are some of the things that you feel like he might be doing well that might be able to, might be troublesome? I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's dishing off the ball pretty quick, um, faster before, faster than uh, Fields was at the time. So, uh, you know, he's getting the ball out of his hands. Uh, he's making, you know, the right decisions. So, you know, he's got to make sure we're in the right place at the right time. You, know, you guys have really been able to lock in in the second halves of the last three games. What's yeah, that's been happening there where, you know, you get through the feeling out process and then you really are able to kind of lock in? Uh, I feel like it's just a mindset thing. I think we have to start off better, right? Uh, you know, Coach showed us the numbers between first half and second half. And, uh, the New Orleans Saints defense, we don't play that way. So we really have to get back to the way that we play, uh, which is playing a full game, first half and second half. Uh, but I think this year, uh, this week, you know, the mentality is just start fast and finish fast and just, you know, don't get too comfortable. How, uh, how difficult is it uh, preparing for a guy like Bajan when you've only had like two games on tape and then if you wanted to go back, you, you go to Shepard College like video. How, how tough is that to, to prepare for somebody like that when you have so limited? Um, I wouldn't say it's too tough. I think he's played enough to where you kind of know like what he's gonna do. Um, I think everything that he's shown us is who he is, right? So you take for you take whatever's on tape, um, and you apply it into your game plan. You apply it into your film study, and you go out there on Sunday. And if he throws any curveball, you just react to that. But you mainly prepare for like what he's already showed us on film. Do you think it was important for like just the vibe psyche of the team, just to kind of for everybody to kind of show their potential last week and. Make it Say that one more time. Do you think it was important for you guys to kind of just show your potential last week? Just kind of after like that little rough pat? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is one week at a time. Um, you know, we, we have a win, so now the goal is to stack, right? Uh, so, like, what are we going to do to make sure we're stacking those things? And, you know, a lot of guys are out there doing extra work today. Um, a lot of guys, we kind of uh, made the emphasis on focusing on like the details and the technique um, and every single thing that we did, rather it came to walk through or rather like, actual practice. So. Uh, you know, I think guys are taking the right steps, and I'm, uh, you know, excited to get to Sunday and just see how we go from there. In the first 15 plays or so of the game, like the opposition, they script it out. So, like, how hard does that make it for you guys to know what they're going to do and, and be ready for it? That's the hardest thing. Uh, I talk to some guys around the locker. I think that's the smartest thing for a lot of teams to do is because, you know, once they kind of show their hand and they kind of get back to their style of offense, uh, I don't think anybody's messed with our defense, right? So your biggest bet is to script us at the beginning of the game and, you know, kind of jump up there on top to make us maybe play from behind. Because once you get those out the way, you know, our defense is so good that, you know, we're going to stop anything else that you kind of already have game or as far as, like, your normal offensive style. So when they're throwing different stuff at you, how do you limit those explosive plays? You just got to react to them, right? I mean, you in film study, we kind of say, okay, this is what they like to do, da da da. And we always say, like, they're going to throw something at us that we don't know. So you just react to that. And so we just react to it. Um, and sometimes they get us. But I think there's been times that they haven't got us as well. So, um, you know, try to eliminate those explosive plays if possible.